In this video I'm going to demonstrate how Postrans can be used to create a quick order pad to sell products as quick as possible from our example company using Microsoft Excel and the power of Postrans. In a second video I'll explain how we created that template which is relatively easy. So the challenge is to take four items under 30 seconds which I'll speedily do and then we'll slow it down and go through some of the features of the order template a quick order pad and of course post trans can be used for many other uses such as post nominal journals stock adjustments invoices sales quotes purchase orders uh, and manage bill of materials price lists and all sorts of other data it's also quite feature rich in that we have in sales searching so you can quickly look up product codes um, as the quantities change, all the pricing gets updated with the quantity discounts and any pricing applied from customer discounts. Uh, it will print the transactions and email them at the end of taking the order. And we can also drill down on the ledger to discuss any money that may be owing with the customer whilst on the phone. Now, this functionality here will be demonstrated with SageLine 50, but the same functionality is available for SageLine 200. So the challenge is to open this order pad, which I've already created. That's got all my stock items listed in it. So I'm just going to wait for the second hand to reach the top. And of course, that could be actually stored on a network and everybody has a shortcut to it. So let's just open it. And of course, I've got the customer on the phone. So I'm going to enter the start of their code, which is going to tell me the terms are not agreed. I've also going to select the delivery address. I'm just going to type in a customer reference. Now they want some envelopes. So let's select and expand the envelopes. So they want two of them and four of them and three of them and six of them and you can see the prices have changed as you'd expect and now we import it into sage it's just given me confirmation of the order which can read back to the customer and post that into sage and preview the invoice on the screen which of course could be emailed or printed and i think we just managed to do that within 30 seconds so let's have a look at that in slow motion as it were let's rewind and discuss that in a little bit more detail and take it a little bit slower as we said, we've got a predefined template, could have saved that to a server, shared it across the network and put shortcuts to it. When I opened it, it's basically the default uh, transaction that Postrans creates, which you'll see in the second video on how to create all this. But of course, I can customize that. Anyway, let's just select the customer. So that was ABS because I knew their account name. But of course, I can do wildcard searching. So I could actually search by postcode by entering space in the postcode. So let's just tab away. It's telling me here the terms are not agreed and we've got a whole series of delivery addresses here so it's selecting the delivery addresses which are already stored in sage line 50 but we do have postcode lookup so if i want to delete that and i just post in a valid oh, hello let's type in uh, pe140rg which i just happen to know is my local tesco store so i can just see tesco's there and i can fill that in so that would provide postcode lookup uh, here we can see the balance in 30 days. As you see, as I hover the cursor over, we can see comment explaining what each individual post trans field is. But if I double click on there, I can actually see any outstanding transactions. Let's just take that off. I can browse also transactions within the SageLine 50 system. So that's rather nice. Here we have the total of the order, which is just simple formulas, which again, Postrans created automatically for me. And down below, I told Postrans to extract various categories from our product uh, information in SageLine 50. So under writing products, this is using standard Excel grouping facilities, we can see all our envelopes. Now, as the cursor moves through the quantities, you will see possibly the unit price change because what it's doing is it's applying any discounts to the particular trader price for that person, for that individual customer. So as we go through, the correct pricing is being applied, any discounts, etc. Now, of course, I may not be able to remember all my stock codes or maybe I've only put part of my product codes onto that order pad. So anything else I can actually add to the bottom and I'm just going to press space and HRD because that then allows me to search tab away from that cell so now that was that search for the word hard in my entire product list so I've selected them and also show me how the free stock there in fact also the template over here at J9 is telling me I've got nine free stock so I can place an order for three items and in this column here I could actually give another 10% discount if I'm feeling rather inclined to do so. 
So effectively, these are the lines making up the transaction. Now, post trans will ignore anything, there's a switch in the system, ignore anything with a zero quantity, which enables you to create this lovely, great big long list of products and simply enter a quantity against the items you wish to place on the sales order. Of course, you can do the same for a purchase order. So you could create a template, email out to people to raise purchase orders. Um, again, the sales order you could actually send to customers to fill in and then they could email them in when they want to place an order. So having created uh, the order by entering those quantities, let's do a few more. Uh, I simply go to the post trans toolbar, I press import, post trans is now read down looking for any quantities in the order and it's now just given me a summary so I can see what company I'm posting it into. And because I've already defined that and saved that in the template, I've also saved my Sage username and password, so I'm not asked that repeatedly. Um, I'm ready to place. So we've got there the settlement discount after 30 days, what nominal code has been booked to, and a breakdown on the stock items. In fact, it's quite interesting because I'm actually losing money on the hard disk I just put on there. Probably gave them too much discount. Again, we have the option to protect that. We can remove some of this breakdown. We can remove it completely if we wish and just send it straight into Sage. So now when I post it, I also have the option now to print it and email it or add additional email reciprocants. I just tick them there and print. Again, I can turn that off. Now there's two flavors of PostTrans. This requires the pro version to print and some of the other functionalities such as postcode lookup and uh, the, the credit drill down requires that. If I press the preview button, I can actually pull up the Sage Line 50 document on the screen here and just show you it's a standard Sage Line 50 document layout. Let's just close that down. Of course, if I print it, then it would send it to my print. I'm just going to untick those and cancel out. It's just given me confirmation that it's gone into Sage, and if we wish, we could actually go into Sage and just prove that it was posted. Let's just find Sage here. Oh yeah, it's another. It's probably worth also pointing out against the items that actually were posted, which is this and this, because they are the only ones that have quantities. It's actually put the reference number and what line number they are on the actual sales order. So now I should be able to see sales order 96 within Sage. There it is, sales order 96. I don't know, it's just appeared over there. And there's all the items on Sage. Now there's many additional features such as being able to add the message overall discount and all sorts of things, which is all covered in our blog articles on our website. If you're interested, the second video is available, which shows you how this template was created. If you're watching this video from YouTube, to go to our website, simply click on the link in the description below. If you're already on our website, you can scroll down slightly and below this video you'll probably see some related links to associated articles. Let's just show you some of the resources on the website. Switch over, here's the home page. You can see here we have a series of menus at the top and if you allow them to expand, you can see there all the different types of importation or extraction you can use with Post Trans and Sage and also the transactions you can post. Importantly, there's a training section here. If we go to the training section, that describes in detail how to alter a post-trans template using the tags that we briefly discussed in the demonstration. Also on the website is a blog which you can subscribe to, and I thoroughly recommend that, so then you can learn of new functionality and uses of post-trans. Because each of these articles maybe hones in on a particular function, a particular tag, or a particular way of using the product to do a particular um, job. For instance, expanding bill of materials on an order, code searching, protecting templates, importing CSV files, pricing, managing VAT, order currency, you name it, it's all in there. Uh, and that is easily accessible from the software itself. So if I switch back to a template, and this one's an order template, and I've just got the tag window open here on the right but you'll see as I scroll down this one here um, TL description which is the actual product description actually has a blog article so clicking on there takes me to that blog article and explains in great detail the implications of using that tag and the many different options maybe in system setups alters and behavior of that tag 
So hopefully that will help. Also, we have uh, the help button itself on the button bar, which takes you to kind of a context sensitive help um, and also takes you to the training page, which explains how to manipulate and alter that template. And in addition to all that, of course, we have these blue help buttons here, which are easily accessible. They're also in the setup windows within Posttrans. So again, that takes you to a blog article. For instance, this one's about making the cursor follow a certain path. That will then take you to that article and explain how you customize that individual functionality. So there I hope you've seen um, many different functions and um, online resources that we've provided you to enable you to customize Posttrans to create a template to uh, help you or your customers. So I thank you very much for watching this video.